A sewing machine needle is one of the most important parts of a sewing machine. So we're working on the Singer Heavy Duty 4452 sewing machine. This is very similar to many machines out there, many Singer machines. Uh, this particular tool actually came with this model. I want to show you how great this is. If this is not something that you have and you like it, you can head over to a Husqvarna Viking or Foff store to find those. You could hop on Singer's website. Should have them also but what you notice is there's a little hole at the end so you can actually use that to kind of slide up your needle and then we're going to unscrew the side now if this is really tight which it is on my machine you will be using the screwdriver that came with this just enough to get it loosened up it shouldn't take much that once you loosen it you can wiggle the needle and it will come out. So maybe just a twist or two more. But what happens is, is it falls into that little holder. Now another trick I do is I also put a little piece of fabric under my foot, pretty much so, again, the needle doesn't fall into the bottom of my machine. So when we switch out needles, number one, needles are uh, different sizes and there's different kinds. So we have a complete playlist. We'll link to it right up here in this top right corner that has all the different types of needles and where you use them. But all needles have a flat side on the back. And this little tool also will position the flat side. Uh, the, the hole is not just round, it's actually a D shape. So it's holding that flat side. I always put the point down into my foot first, make sure that didn't spin as I did that and then lift that directly up into the hole. Next, take your fingers and twist to turn and tighten this. You have to have that needle all the way at the highest position for the sewing machine to work. So if for any reason it has not gotten there, it's a little lower, oh yeah, things are not gonna be pretty. If you want, most of the time, if you just tighten this with your fingers, that's key. What I don't want you to do is take the screwdriver and crank down and turn this really, really tight. I mean, you need it tight enough that it won't fall out, but you need it not to actually uh, break this whole entire area. But did you notice how easy it is to hold this up with the tool um, versus just having your hands all the way in here? Now, one way to check that your needle is at the highest position is actually next. Use your needle threader to find that it lines up. If your needle threader does not line up in that hole, possibly that needle's not in the correct position. Mine lined up, pulled my thread right on through, so I know that I did get it all the way up. Make sure if you're having any troubles, change your needle. It's the first thing to change, of course, cleaning the machine, using good quality thread are also all things that can make a sewing machine work or not work. But make sure that you're changing needles um, often and this machine will treat you well.